Therefore, let him look at the mirror before pelting a stone on the other. Okay. Okay. I, I totally agree. I totally agree that the politics of intimidation, politics of abuse of power, <laughs> politics of violating law of the land should be absolutely given a good by to my my by all political parties, by all political parties, and there should be strong public opinion against the use of the state power in favor of a particular I, group of people. I, or in I, favor I, of I am simply, uh, why, why, the, reason, the reason we are picking up this story tonight, even before we discuss what has happened with the TMC's non-starter of a threat vis-a-vis -vis the government to pull out support in New Delhi, is because it's terrifying, isn't it? Nicha Chaudhary, but before Nicha Chaudhary, Nirmala Sitaraman, isn't it terrifying? Tomorrow, if every chief minister walks into police stations and say, you have a problem, come. I will solve your problem. I will administer justice. I will not let this go to court. I will release your people if I believe that you are right. It's about the precedent. Nirmala Sitaraman, it's about the precedent, isn't it? Yeah, certainly. Certainly, it sets a precedent. And uh, as Swapan was saying, uh, the chief minister is still functioning like an activist, forgetting that she is the chief minister and she has constitutionally provided ways of establishing the truth if somebody was brought to the police station on a certain allegation. She could have established it within the framework of the constitution. She is not only the chief minister, I understand she is also the minister taking care of home affairs, I mean law and order and the police and everything else. It certainly is setting a precedent which can be uh, unusual to say the least and above all not helpful at all. Somebody was suggesting that it affects the morale of the police, but it w affects the morale of the entire administration, which she is heading. I, I, so I think this is absolutely unheard of. I agree. But I will certainly straight away pick up on the Communist Party representative who for want of either saying, first of all, I think you should say whether it was so during uh, the Communist regime as Swapan is alleged, rather than saying, look at Gujarat. I think Gujarat is completely peaceful and if anything if there is a question asked the chief minister has submitted himself for inquiries and there is no way in which you can even think of comparing no, no, is... what has happened in the last 30 years in bengal either on developmental issues or on law so and my order. simple question I think is what the communist representatives should first learn from gujarat is how to run the state to develop it for the welfare of all the citizens equally so but more pertinent to the point is why doesn't the communists say whether this was the trend set by them instead of answering that to have to say oh no that's wrong i think is deflecting from answering directly I, on the question I, i'm going they to they have definitely brought in a culture sure. both in kerala and west bengal which is violence violence okay, to control political opponents uh, and probably mamta is going on the same course Nirja. which i hope she doesn't because ne i think it's important to M not set bad precedents but to function within the framework my, of the constitution my, my, and above all the chief minister has definitely to set an example. No, my, my, my greatest worry Nirja in all of this is what will somebody in Kolkata today who does not get connected to the chief minister do? I mean the person will be in a fix. There will be no justice because the ultimate justice is the Mamta Banerjee kind of justice. Or what will the police do today in Kolkata? Because if they act against any Trinamool leader or somebody connected to a Trinamool leader, they'll be dead worried that Mamta Banerjee will land up and there will be a repeat of what has happened in the Bhawanipur police station. Nirja. I think that is the worrying part of it. The signal it sends to the administration, number one, and the signal it sends to the Trinamool worker that no matter what we do, we can get away with it. And actually, one was, she was moving very well as a mass leader, not making mistakes. But one had hoped that this is the kind of mistake she would not make in haste. Because it smacks of an arrogance of power, which really was also the undoing of the left government. And, uh, you know, chief ministers have been known to quietly send word so-and-so should be released. But she marched in headlong and uh, did it so openly, unashamedly. And that is the disappointing part of what she did, Mamta Banerjee. And, and the worrying part is today the police is saying, Sukhendu Shekhar Roy, the worrying part is that today the police is saying nobody was ever rounded up, sorry, nothing ever happened. It only got captured on camera, otherwise the story would have probably been hushed up. Arnab, Arnab, even your camera could not show 
that Mamta Banerjee is stormed into the police station, which is being propagated for the past several hours. Now I tell you one thing, how many times do you know the Chief Minister has gone to the Maoist infested jungle? No, no, one second. This, let's not, how don't, don't digress the point. Addressed? You're avoiding no, the no, question. No, 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 try to understand. I'm asking you a direct understand. question. No, I'm not avoiding. And no, no, and I am, I am, I am, no, no, I am, I would like to comment on Mr. Gurudas Gupta also. No, my, my, my the point is, my, no, no, one second. The, then no, no, you, no, by your you. logic, no, there no, are no, many. No, I am telling you, I am coming to your point. I am coming to your point because so many allegations have been leveled against us. Mr. Gurudas Gupta now expressing his concern. I would have been happy to see him to show equal concern when one of the MLAs of the well. left front led a violent so showing mob concern is one thing breaking the law is Anandu another Marghiz on broad daylight no 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 you cannot ignore these historical facts the another one is the chief minister cannot storm into a police MLA. station oh, oh. she can push files she can't storm into it, a police station not. however much the temptation of getting a few brownie it points is it is absolutely it is absolutely far from truth. It is a wild allegation against. So what are these pictures? I'll play those pictures again. What are these pictures? I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. What I are these pictures showing? I tell you repeatedly that he had been there as a local MLA to pacify the agitating crowd, and she has has the guts. She has the guts to face. So such she should do it again. You are saying she should do it again. Other political leaders or other chief ministers do not have. Well, 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 I just want to say, well, I'm going to wrap this up. E even if you assume that the boys are innocent, you should let the law and the police carry out its own course. Many p innocent people may be rotting Hello. in jail, but you have to let... Uh, the chief minister has to first uh, see the way the, the process is set up. I, I, I think we'll keep debating this. I don't think we'll agree. I'll leave this Hello. question Hello. No, to no, our no, viewers no, no, tonight. I share, no, no, I, no, no, I share you. Su no, no, I share with your views. I share you th I'm I share your views to the extent to the extent, to the extent, you, you, to the extent to, that it is the primary duty of the law enforcing agencies yes. to maintain law and order. No, it is. But had there been any ulterior motive on the part of the chief minister, she could have rang up the local police station mm. for the release of those boys. She did not do that. It Sir. was a decision of the police authorities to. When there them. are people who are, who are who are it, no, when when the police, no when, I'm, I'm, I'm putting this question to our viewers tonight, and I want them to think about it because when the police is attacked. When stones and bottles are thrown at them, when private cars are vandalized, when some people say we will set up a police station on fire, and after that, should those people get any kind of protection or should they face the law? It's not, so it's not jungle, Raj. It is the duty of the police. Oh, oh. It's not oh, oh. a... Don't characterize in that way. It don't characterize our government in no, that no, way. No, I'm saying, I'm saying there has to be a respect for the law. Only six months old. Only six months old. So is the law I of the land. Not say like that. So let's play those pictures again. We have I put a mandate from the people. Okay. We have a mandate from the people, Sir, not from sure. the media. Sure, but but you have to respect the law. You have to let the police intervene. I think we, we are respecting the law. We are very much res we are very much respecting the law. Okay. And we will continue to respect the law. Those th this is this is a story. I want to put, ask our viewers once again, this is a story of an unusual visitor at a police station, a chief minister storming in, blasting the police, getting youth who have been picked up for rioting earlier released. The embarrassed police commissioner comes in later and now the police said nothing ever happened. What's the bigger message here?